Hello YouTubers, it's Michelle and I'm here with a Dollar Tree and Walmart haul. So this is my Dollar Tree here and this is my itty bitty Walmart haul. So I thought that I would kind of uh, just go ahead and do both of them together since I didn't get much at Walmart and really um, some of the stuff that I got at Dollar Tree is kind of duplicate so really not a whole lot here either. So let's get started so the first thing that i picked up was these umbrello gloves and they're super super cute pink so these will be good for cleaning so i picked those up and then I picked up a package of the Breezy, and this is, I believe, the clean linen smell. So I picked these up. I usually get Gain, but this is a totally better deal, and these smell really, really good. So I thought I'd try them, and um, you get like 20 in the Gain, and you will you get 55 with the Breezy. So I thought I would give these a try, so I got the clean linen smell, and as well as the lavender smell. So I'm going to give those a shot. Then I also picked up this um, Swatel um, fabric softener. And I have never used this either. So I thought I would just give this a shot to see what it's like. Another thing that I picked up is these fabric softener uh, and refreshers and these are like the downy unstoppables and i've never used the downy unstoppables so i can't compare them but let me tell you these things are awesome um i'd already bought the pink ones now these are the multicolored ones and i haven't seen anybody haul the multicolored ones actually a friend of mine i was telling her about them last night and she went and picked them up today and she said the only ones they had was the multicolor and i'm like multicolor and she's like yeah and so while i was out i looked and sure enough they had the multicolor and i think these have a stronger smell than the pink ones do so um really really love these and i tell you what i do um started doing i used to use um gain and i love gain i just love the smell of gain i think it's got a real nice clean scent to it but i had picked up some laundry detergent at the dollar tree and it's the la is awesome and it's in the orange bottle and that's what i was told to pick up they said to pick up the orange bottle that it is the best so i picked it up and then i picked up the base cleaner also in the orange by la's awesome and it's like in a white little tub so um a couple of nights ago i did laundry and i thought i'm gonna try this stuff out so i tried the detergent in the orange bottle and then i tried the base cleaner and then i tried um the pink of these and oh my god my laundry came out so nice i felt like it was brighter um and it had such a good clean smell to it so um that's what i'm going to start doing my laundry in, um because it's a whole lot cheaper and i really liked the smell so um you know and the way that everything looked as it came out so it was really nice so that's my little tidbit there and then i picked up these cupcake toppers they're spring the little um they have the little picks to put in the cupcakes but i'm going to actually use these for crafting too i think that those will make cute little umbrellas so um yeah i'm going to try that so um pick those up but of course they make good cupcake liners too then i picked up this little um plastic egg and i thought that i would use this on my um end table for a candy dish for easter it's got the lid and everything so i thought that would be cute because if you watched my um valentine's video you know that i have a little candy dish sitting on my um end table and it's kind of like my little tribute to my aunt 
and because every time I would go to her house, she always had a candy dish full of candy, and so I always think of her, but I thought this would be really cute to put my Easter candy in, so I picked that up, and then I picked up these cute little napkins, stripes, so those are really cute, and those are used to do decoupage and stuff, that would be really pretty to decoupage stuff, but I don't really do that kind of stuff, but really pretty and then I got the matching little bunny uh, plates I thought those were cute and they had some new nails and I picked these up and one of these days I'm gonna put those on as you can see I don't do really anything to my nails so uh, one of these days I want to use some of these nails that I've been hoarding and stuff but I think those are really pretty springy looking then I picked up these, uh, they're like the ballet slipper type of little footies, but um, I use them um, in the summertime when I just wear my little white tennis shoes, and so then my socks don't show and stuff, so I like them for that, so they're hard to find in the white, so I picked up two pairs to see them there today, and then... I got some of these rings, the binder rings, and they had them in two different sizes. They had them like in the two inch, and then I think the one and a quarter, and one and a half. So I got the one and a half and the one and a quarter. So I picked those up. I used those for mini albums and crafting. So there's that. And then I've seen a lot of people say that this is really good. It's carpet cleaning foam. And my apartment is all carpet except for the bathroom and the kitchen and then the little entryway into the door or into my apartment but otherwise it's all carpet so you know with the fur babies and stuff um sometimes there's accidents and stuff and you know of course food dropping and stuff like that you know accidents uh, spill a drink or something so i thought i would have this on hand because um you know, my mom has a carpet cleaner that I can borrow and stuff, but I thought this would be good to have on hand and stuff. So I picked that up because I've heard many people rave about that. Then I picked up some stuff to put in um, some Easter baskets because I do um, Easter baskets up for my friend's two daughters and stuff. And, um, the one daughter, she's 19, and the other one is 10, and... You know, of course, I have to do the 10-year-old one, you know, because she's a kid. So, I feel bad if I don't do the 19-year-old one. I feel like she feels like she's left out or something. So, I feel like I have to do something for her, too. So, um, I pick up little things here and there for her as well. So, anyway, I picked this up because I thought they were cute. The 10-year-old will love these. Um, she likes, you know, little uh, silly stuff like this. So, picked those up. And then I picked these little emoji stickers up, but she liked those. And then I picked on each one of these up because uh, the older one is in college and stuff. So I thought I would get her stuff, you know, too, that she could use for that. And also she uh, uh, lives, uh, she's got her first apartment and living with roommates and stuff so i picked her some things up that i thought she could use in her apartment and she likes this color so i got her a oven mitt and i got her some pot holders and then the baskets i picked the little one up an easter bunny from russell silvers because you can't go wrong with Russell Silver's chocolate. It's always good. And I picked the older one up. Some Easter eggs to put in hers. And then I picked up these crisp, chocolate crisp bunny ears. I haven't tried those yet. So I probably put that in my baskets. Plus put it in my candy thing. And then I bought the little one. These um, crybaby eggs. She loves stuff that's sour. The more sour, the better she likes it. You know, I do not like stuff like that. I'm like, why torture yourself with stuff like that? But anyway, that goes for her. And then I picked her up one of these little solar dancers. Um, 
I'm just so not into these. There's so many people that are, but I thought she would get a kick out of it. And I thought the little bunny was cute. So, picked that up. And then the older one, I got her some truffles. Thought she might like those. And then um, I got some of these eggs for decorating around the house. Kind of thought those were pretty. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with those yet. But they were different and unique colors. So I thought I'd get those. And now we will do the Walmart haul. So I didn't pick up much there. Um, I picked up this bows. These bows here. And these were a really good deal. They were four dollars and something. And you get, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You get seven different bows, and they even come on like a little organizer that you can hang. So, you know, if you have little girls and stuff that like bows in their hair, this is really a good deal. And they had them in all different, different uh, color combinations. But I love these big bows in my little uh, girl Yorkie's hair. And, you know, she's only five pounds, and the bow, when I put a bow like this in her hair, it's almost as big as she is. But I just think they look absolutely adorable in her hair. So that's what I got these bows for. They're for my doggy. So, um, and I do make them up usually a little Easter basket, too, because they are my babies. So these will probably go in her Easter basket. And then I noticed that they had some ribbon. I don't see anybody show this, but it was only a dollar, so I got the white pom-pom trim. I got the orange um, rickrack, and then I got this really pretty, um, like, blue, uh, Tiffany blue uh, crocheted lace-looking trim. Just picked that up, and then I went over to the stickers, and I got these because they're only I think 94 cents so that's a really good deal the gold really pretty and then their Easter stickers they were I think 94 cents too so I thought those were cute the little epoxies and those these here And then I looked in the product section, and they actually carry some of the Project Life stuff. And it's, like, way cheaper than at the, you know, box stores and stuff. So I picked this set up. I thought it was super cute. And I did all of these pieces. So um, if you watched my previous um haul videos from, I don't know, a month or so ago or two months ago. I don't remember when I did it, but I picked up uh, some Project Life uh, sheet protectors and um, I said that I was going to try to do Project Life style. So I, that's why I picked this up because I thought this will be a good kit to practice with. So really pretty. And then the last thing that I got were these buckets here. And this bucket here is for uh, one of the baskets that I'm going to make for my friend's daughter. It's for her Otis one. Because, like I said, she likes that, like, teal color. So, I just thought that was really pretty. And I thought, you know, she can use that later, you know, um, in her apartment and stuff for, you know, whatever she wants to. And then, I picked... Ah! What I... <laughs> this one up for myself and it's the frog and um my dad um as you know he passed away a couple of years ago and it'll, it'll actually be two years in april and um uh, i miss him every day every day not a day goes by i still don't think about him and don't miss him and um he had a real hoarse voice and Everybody used to call him Froggy. That was kind of like his nickname and stuff. So anytime now I see anything with a frog, I think of my dad. So, uh, as you guys know, I live in an apartment. So what I'm going to do, you know, I don't have a backyard really. I just have like a patio area. And I am going to drill a hole in the bottom. 
I'd seen someone else here on YouTube, uh, Lala. She had actually got me same two tins, and these were the two that I liked the best too. And she said that she was going to drill holes in the bottom and plant flowers on them. And I thought, wow, what a good idea. So I believe um, this year on April the 7th, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant some, I think, daisies in here, yellow and white daisies in here, and put it on my back porch. And I have like um, a brick that says dad and it has the his date of um his date of birth and his date of death on there and um i'm gonna set the brick next to the little pail and so that'll be like my little memorial to my dad so i just thought it was really cute and um you know it'd be something that i can do you know because the anniversary of his passing is always really hard and stuff so just thought that that would be something that I could do to kind of um, you know remember him by so just super cute so that is it that's all that I got and like I said it was a good day of shopping nice to get out and um, do that retail therapy so that's it so hope you enjoyed and um, if you like, uh, leave a thumbs up and comment, and thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. Bye-bye.